Those days, Will used to have a melancholic gaze. Attending customers during the day and working the dungeons during the night was not an easy life. Moonlighter is a game that's halfway between Stardew Valley and the Binding of Isaac, as during the day you'll be a shopkeeper manning your shop, stocking shelves and monitoring the prices, but at night you'll be exploring dungeons, fighting monsters and gathering loot to sell in the shop during the daylight hours. Before you get going though, here are 14 Moonlighter tips for the dungeons and for running the shop. 1. Work your diagonals when trying to take on some of the beasties, remember that they can only move at 90 degree angles. Using either your broom or later the sword and shield, you can attack them on a 45 degree angle, keeping you out of their firing line and getting attacks in much easier. 2. Get a bow and arrow as soon as you can. Getting a bow and arrow in Moonlighter is one of the best things that you can do. You can either find one in a skeleton in the dungeon or buy one from Andre at the forge once you've funded it in the town. Having a ranged weapon is great for any enemies that have projectiles, and for the big dungeon bosses too. Did I mention that there's unlimited ammo? 3. Skeletons are clutching secret loot. Keep your eyes peeled for skeletons on your dungeon adventures, and when you do see one, give it a gentle smash. Out will fly any loot it's clutching, most commonly weapons and health potions handily, and a little letter explaining exactly how they died or at least their final thoughts before the beasties got them. 4. Watch out for sparkling chasms. If you see a sparkle from the depths of a chasm, push forward into the darkness because down below is a little battle arena that you can keep resetting to find extra special loot. 5. Remember to wishlist what you want to build or upgrade. Before you head out to Dungeon Town, pop over to the forge and take a look at what armour or weapon you want to buy or upgrade next. Add it to your wish list, and then anything you find that's part of the requirements will be marked with a star in the dungeon. Saves you leaving post-it notes all around your TV screen like a madman. 6. Keep an eye out for the Big Green Eye. When you reach the higher levels of a dungeon, you might spot a green eye icon appear right next to your map with a timer icon in the bottom corner. That's a sign that a horrible, gooey beast is en route that can kill you with just one hit and will follow you from room to room and floor to floor. Best just to run at that point. 7. Upgrade your bed back at the shop to get an added health boost. You might never ever actually sleep in Moonlighter between all the dungeons and the shopkeeping, but if you upgrade your bed, you'll leave your house at night with a lovely health boost that will no doubt come in incredibly handy down in those loot caverns. 8. Enchantments from the Witch give you battle boosts. Edis might be your go-to gal for potions pre-dungeon, but she's also got enchantments on offer that could give you an added edge. They'll boost your power, defence and other stats, saving you from having to upgrade your weapons or armour if you can't find that one last thing. 9. Keep checking your pack for stacking issues. When you're exploring the dungeons, there's a danger of gathering multiple items of the same resource and them not quite stacking properly in your bag. Check your pack every now and then and make sure you're utilising the space as best you can. Most items stack in piles of 5 or 10. 10. Learn how to use item curses in your favour. Actually getting as much in your pack as you possibly can is often a bit of a tricky task. Items are sometimes cursed, forcing you to only place them at the top, bottom or sides of your pack, or they'll destroy whatever item is in the direction of the arrow they're pointing at. Others are more helpful, sending items in the direction of the arrow back home to make you some space in your bag while others actually lift other curses, which lets you stack items and move them about freely. Learn quickly what does what and you'll be a loot pro in no time. Shop tips. One, only sell one item at a time until you can nail down the price. At the start, it can be very tempting to whack an entire pile of items on the counter just to get some cash straight away. But until you're 100% sure of the correct selling price, just sell one at a time. That way you can judge the customer reactions and only sell one item at a massive loss, rather than all your stock at once. 
too. Check the symbols above shoppers' heads as they enter. Whenever a customer walks into your shop from shop level one onwards, a little icon will probably pop up above their head to let you know what kind of clientele they are. You'll find all sorts come in to check out your wares, from explorers to warriors, but you'll want to look out for two in particular, the gentleman and the thief. The thief will try and steal from you, leaving you no choice but to rugby tackle them before they clear the door. The gentleman, however, is your big spender. He'll basically buy anything you put in the glass cabinets that'll appear in your shop from the level two upgrade onwards, as long as it's not totally ridiculously overpriced. Three, prioritize books and jottings if you want to make serious cash fast. In the third level of the dungeons and after defeating a boss, you'll find books and jottings associated with that dungeon. Forget the petals and the jellies because these items are the big bucks guaranteed to sell for at least a thousand gold. But some books and jottings can actually sell for 5,000 gold, so start that pricing high. Four, working out how to get quests and complete them is surprisingly tricky at first. From shop level two, you'll get customers coming in to ask you to fetch specific items for them by a certain date. Sometimes they're pretty hard to spot, as they'll simply loiter by the till until you realize the prompt to talk to them is lit up. When the due date for their quest arrives, they'll return to your shop and loiter in exactly the same place, at which point all you need to do is talk to them to complete, or fail, that quest. However, they're very easy to miss if you're off doing other stuff in your shop, so stay near the till, particularly when you first open the shop in the morning. So that's 14 essential Moon Knighter tips for the dungeons and running the shop. Let us know if you have any more in the comments below, hit the big buttons on the left for more content from us, and don't forget to hit that big button in the middle for more news, reviews, previews, guides, and more from us here at GamesRadar Plus.